Hi everybody, Carissa here with Inky Fairy Designs for the Blitzy Creative team today and we're going to be creating some abstract florals with the Magello Mission Gold watercolors. Now you know how much I love watercolors and I was really excited to get this set. I'm working with the 24 pan watercolor palette. It comes in this absolutely gorgeous rose gold case. I couldn't um, I couldn't resist that case. It's just gorgeous. And I think it's really great because it's portable. You can fit your brushes inside that case. You can mix your colors inside that case. The pans also come out if you wanted to take them out individually and work with them that way. I'm going to talk more about the watercolors as the painting goes, but I wanted to tell you that I am also using Arches Watercolor Cold Press 140 pound paper to do my painting and this is the block paper pad and what that means is that all four sides are glued together and what that does is it um, prevents the warping that you would usually get if you just kind of had a paper pad that you ripped out the paper so I really like working on this when I'm creating a big painting and I'm going to use a lot of water the brushes that I'm using I have three pulled out I'm using a mop brush three quarter inch size I also have two round brushes, a size 12 and a size 8. You can use any brand, whatever you are most comfortable with. So I'm going to start my painting and I'm going to start it in real time just so you can kind of see how I lay the colors down and then I'll speed up the process a little bit later but I will also kind of walk you through what I'm doing. Now this is just the way that I create. Uh, watercolor florals. I'm brand new at doing, at pushing myself to create these kind of paintings, but I absolutely love it. It's really fun to see something like this come together. And using the brush to create your strokes and to create your flowers is how it all comes together. So you don't have to like outline your flower and then color it in with your paint. You really actually don't want to do that when you're creating these kind of abstract florals. You really want to use the shape of your brush. So here I have what's called an oval or a mop brush and I'm just kind of pushing it down, twisting it a little bit to create my petals. And I uh, ended up with what I think looks like a tulip shape. So that's all I'm going to do for the rest of this video and I'm going to speed it up here but you'll still be able to see how I kind of angle the brush and use the brush to create all of my strokes and shapes that then put, bring together the flowers and the leaves and um, you can see I mix the colors right in the palette there and um, just kind of bring it in to my paper. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the Mission Gold watercolors. These are new to me. Uh, I just started hearing about them, but they are really pretty. Um, some of the things, some of the properties that they have are they're thickly stained with only one touch. And what that means is that you, um, sometimes when you work with a pan watercolor, you have to spray it or um, activate the, the, the pigment with a little bit of water and then kind of pick it up with your brush. These you really don't need to do that. And once your brush is wet and you touch it to your um, color, you get so much pigment. You can see as I'm laying down this green how bright and vivid it is. Some other qualities is that it has an excellent rating of light fastness. So what that means is these are artist grade watercolors in case you were wondering. So if you are creating paintings that you want to sell or you know you want to hang, they are going to last and they're not going to fade as quickly as your student grade or lower quality light fastness um, watercolors would. So you can, you know, take that in mind when you're thinking about these watercolors. Um, they like I mentioned, they, uh, I'm working with the pan watercolors, but they also come in tubes, so you could purchase either one. They have many different sets available, uh, so if you wanted just to purchase a smaller set to kind of test them out, you could do that, or you could go with a larger set if you're like me and you have to have all the colors. Uh, let's see. So they are super bright and vivid. 
they are, they kind of go um, with the, they're great for coloring florals and landscapes because um, they are, all of the colors are colors that you would find out in nature. So that's one of the things that you can um, think about when you're thinking about getting a new watercolor set or purchasing your first one. So you can see I just um, laid down my color and I just used my brush to create my stems, my leaves, you know, just by twisting it and kind of bringing it to a point. Um, you want to make sure that you have a brush that comes to a really nice tip so that you can create all of those different variations of sizes with one brush. Um, so you can see with this painting, I really only used, uh, I think I only used the number 12 round brush and the uh, three quarter inch oval brush. So this has dried overnight and now I'm coming in and adding a little bit of extra detail to my florals and just kind of deepening up some shadows, creating some depth in them by bringing in a new color. And um, I'm really happy with the way that bottom left flower looks because it kind of has a different shape. It looks like uh, maybe it's kind of falling towards you so you're kind of seeing the center of it and that is just that's some, one of the things that I really love about watercolors and I hope you're enjoying kind of seeing how all of this comes together and enjoying um, you know how I create these abstract florals so that pretty much wraps it up I wanted to show you though the block paper pads so what you do there's one little um, like edge that is open and you just find that spot and slip your craft knife into that and then you just slide it all the way around the edges it cuts out though the glued edges and then your painting is ready to go you can frame it you can do whatever you want with it but you can see how it has no warping which is really really nice and no bleeding as well so that's also very important I love these arches watercolor block paper pads so here's some close-ups of these flowers I really enjoyed making them I am so ready for spring I don't know about you um, but thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to both my channel and Blitzy head over to the Blitzy blog for all of the supplies I used as well as daily inspiration from the rest of the creative team until next time happy crafting